Hello everyone. Uh, we're sitting here uh, looking at Thornton uh, in Transport Fever 2. Oh yes, this is tropical fun. Uh, we're sitting here looking at Thornton uh, toward, um, uh, where is it? Uh, Grand Rapids over here in the distance. And what we're going to do today is we're going to set up a line from Thornton and it's going to go up to Grand Rapids and then from Grand Rapids we're going to send it up to Tempe, I think, uh, Tempe, and then ultimately from there, we'll uh, hop over to Wichita. Uh, so that's, uh, that's what we're going to do with this line here. Uh, so we'll have a connection at Thornton, a connection at Tempe, and uh, it'll serve as Grand Rapids and uh, Wichita. Now this is going to be something of a um, complicated uh, line uh, and we're going to need some cash before we can do much of anything with it. Now of course we have um, 18 million in loan available so that will be uh, potentially helpful. Uh, let's leave this here window poking about somewhere. Uh, oh we can we can shrink it. Okay, uh, so we'll leave that there window uh, hanging it over there. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to bring a uh, platform here. I'm going to come along on the right hand side of this track. We'll come up to here, peel over to here, and then we'll come along the left hand side of this track up to say about here where we'll peel off and we'll head straight into Grand Rapids. And after that, we'll come in on the right hand side of this track, which will mean relocating this here a bit. Uh, and then uh, um, well, actually, I think uh, where's the station in Tempe here? So yeah, we'll want to be we'll want to be coming in around this way. So we'll uh, come through Grand Rapids. Actually, we'll probably peel off over here and come across this gap here into, uh, uh, into Tempe, and then we'll peel off over this way. So this is going to be something of a complicated uh, build. Uh, not difficult, but uh, complicated. And uh, that's... Uh, uh, that's kind of the way we like it around here. Everything else is boring. So the first thing we'll do is, um, okay, oh, we've got good income. Uh, well, let's up the tempo for a bit here and see if we can, uh, get our, uh, uh, <laughs> our cash flow to be a little less negative. Um, yeah, I spent rather a lot of cash last time around and I think I paid off too much of the loan. Anyway, uh, we are uh, up to, uh, what are we up to here? Well, let's uh, widen this out. So we're up to uh, 13, 14 mil uh, income in an accounting period here, 16 mil. So yeah, we're doing okay here. Uh, yeah, so this is a uh, profitable endeavor with this uh, passenger network and the uh, cargo we have operating. Okay, yeah, so we didn't drop negative on that one. So that's a good sign. Uh, so yeah, so I think we can start by uh, configuring this station. And uh, we need a platform over here. So we'll put a platform over there. Uh, okay. So we have that. Uh, good. Uh, right. Now, uh, you need to build some rails. Yeah. Yeah, I rather suspected I might. Now, uh, you're going to go parallel, parallel to this one. Okay. Bring this out and it will snap parallel and then we can really uh, 
Huh. Okay, well. Let's uh, run this up a bit further then. Clearly, this thing needs a better Dwimmer. Uh, okay, so we'll take that segment out. And, uh, yeah. Now, well, uh, yeah, that's kind of what we want. Good. No. Good. Right. Um, now, we also want to be able to get a uh, train on there from the depot. We're not going to be able to do it from there. Uh, can we do it from, say, over here? No. Can we do it from here? No. Uh, can we do it from here? No. Um, well, what if we do this? Yes. Yeah, we can do that. Take that out. And then, what if we take one of these off of here, like that? Well, that will work. Um, yeah, okay, good. Uh, so that allows us to get a uh, train on here. Now, we'll bring this around. So we're going to have four tracks here. We definitely need it because the other line is busy. Uh, and I don't want to add more uh, traffic uh, congestion on there. So we'll do it this way. Um, right. Okay. Now, okay, I wonder how horrible that bridge is going to behave. Well, first of all, we'll... Uh, run around this way. Now you might be wondering why I didn't go from a nearer town and just uh, put a sweep line across there. And it's uh, mostly because I didn't want to. But also because uh, I've been uh, I've got Thornton as sort of a, a hub going there. So, well that one fits through. Um... How horrible is that? Absolutely dreadful. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, so we'll ignore it. Uh, just keep uh, extending this up this way. And now we're going to need to peel in here like this. So that means we need... Uh, I think we'll need to come up to about here and then we can come around like this. I think I can live with that. Okay. And we come around like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Now, we got to run along this way. This is going to make for an interesting uh, ride-along, I think, when this is all uh, operational and we fling some trains up it. Uh, we're going to have that bridge back there, the swapping between lines, all of that jazz. Uh, so we need to come out of the tunnel. Now, it might be more realistic if we would have uh, merged the uh, tracks through here. But... Uh, that's a freight line, and it's fairly busy, and I want to keep the uh, passenger service uh, unencumbered by the tr by the freight lines. Also, uh, you know, we don't need. We're going to be flinging probably quite a few trains up this ultimately, uh, and we need to come around. Okay, yeah, we need to come around the toe of the mountains there. Um. Why isn't it snapping? I seem to recall that it used to snap better in Transport Fever 1. Um, I could, of course, be smoking crack, but, you know... Well, actually, no, I can't be smoking crack. I don't have any. It's a metaphor, you moron. Oh, well, in that case... Yeah, I still, I'm not smoking crack. Um, but I may well be misremembering... There was plenty of other stuff that was problematic with the 
Transport Fever 1, so uh, I haven't actually gone back and played that. Uh, there's just enough with Transport Fever 2 that is uh, better that I haven't felt the need to go back to it. Uh, now, uh, we need to come around the toe here, so we need to peel off about here, I think. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be about right. Now, uh, you need to build a station here, and if you build it right, you can bring a line through from uh, uh, Killeen later, uh, and that's something I might do. Yeah, so, uh, so if I put the station along here, because I'm going to go up through here, yeah, okay, that's what I'll do. Uh, right, so that means getting rid of that. No, we won't get rid of that. Uh, we will grab uh, one of these, uh, two of those, and uh, we're going to want to run it about on that angle, I think. Uh, maybe closer to like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's not in the most convenient of places, but... Uh, no, 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 we want buildings. Uh, we're going to need one of these, which I'm going to put this way this time. And we're going to need one of these, I think. Yeah, just the one, yeah. Um, yeah, just like that. Good, right. Uh, streets. Yes, you want to, you want this curved. Uh, yes, I do. Okay, good. Yeah, like that. Uh, you need to um, tramify it because you're so obsessed with trams. Yeah, I know. You forgot to put a Dewey. Yeah, I know that too. You know a lot of things. Well, maybe. Uh, right. So we'll put a Dewey here. Good. Now, buy a tram. Uh, is the Moscow any good? No, we're st we're sticking with the um, the uh, shisht thing here. Um, uh, Schaffhausen. Um, right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one of them. We just need the one. Okay. Uh, new line. Go from here to here. Yeah, exactly like that. And we're gonna call this. Uh, passenger Grand Rapids commuter kind of like that yeah good right okay that's enough of that now you need to get uh, tracks out of here uh, yeah I kind of do okay uh, right uh, tracks yes uh, good you have tracks now build them right Okay, so we want to go around about that way. Um, yeah, round about that way. Uh, good. Right. Good. Now, what happens if we just take this and wang it together? Um, well, it's not terrible. Um, um, go down. Yeah, that's probably better. Okay, take it. Right. Now, of course, you need to put the other track. Yeah. Well, that's usually the easy part. Good. Right. Okay, so now that you've gone and built that, um, now what are you going to do? Well, um, I'm thinking... I might just fling a train down it. Uh, well, if you're going to do that, then you're going to need to do this. And then you need to put a signal or two on that. Uh, yeah, I kind of think I am. Right, okay. So, you're going to need a signal about here. Yeah, probably. And just go along here and whack a few of them in.
right? Yep. 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 And I'm reminded of those aliens from uh, Sesame Street now. That went yep, 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 uh-huh, uh-huh, all the time. Yeah, they really did. Uh, it was kind of corny. Um, and it stuck in my head. Uh, right. Right. Uh, like that. Okay, now we're coming around the corner. Okay, so we need one here. And we need... I think we need two of them around here. And... Yeah, over about here. Good, right, okay. Now, get some, uh, some trains up here. Uh, let's uh, down tempo the uh, clock now. Uh, we've got 67 mil now, so we don't need to worry. Uh, right, okay. Buy vehicle. Um, do we have any diesels? No, so we're still on steam. Right, well, it's 1909. Of course we're still on steam. Uh, now, uh, we were going with the A35. Yep, A35. Passenger. We're going with the six-wheeler, I think. Yeah. We're going with five cars, are you? Yeah, I think I am. Um, you're going to put two trains on there, are you? Yeah, why not? Now, we're going to go a new line, and we're going to go from Thornton to... Um, where is it? Grand Rapids. Yes, here. Okay, well, so far so good. So this is going to go all the way to Wichita eventually, right? It's Wichita. Uh, turn that off. Uh, that's Berkeley. Um, uh, we come up here. Yeah, it's Wichita. Right, okay. Uh, so this is going to be... Uh, passenger, passenger rail, multiple, Thornton to Wichita. Yes. Okay. Now, what we need to do is go find Thornton again, which is over here. Um, right. You know what we're going to do? This one? Yeah, we are going to go for a cab ride. You know, I'm going to do this cab ride, and then I'm going to break the part, and then I'll go on for um, building the next leg and the next part. Okay. Oh, well, we're going to the correct platform, at least. That's a good sign. Okay, and I'm running this, uh, this here cab ride at uh, regular speed. Now, of course, we're going to pick up exactly nobody. Yep, we picked up exactly nobody. But I just want to see how this here... Um, how this, this uh, line here looks. Uh, I seem to recall it was... Um, how did the colonel put it? Tasteful, for the most part. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's see what, what happens here. Uh, I have a feeling that I might want to up the uh, graphics settings or something. Uh, no, I really can't. Uh, I'm not running a potato, but it's not a great system either. Uh, right. Okay, now we're coming around here. Uh, coming up on the uh, bridge. Uh, yeah. Yeah, what I, uh, what I actually need is a... Well, need is a strong word, but I want to get me a modern... Uh, up-to-date system at some point but I'm obviously not going yeah I definitely need to do something about the bridge pillars there uh, but I'm obviously not going to be getting me anything of the sort anytime soon 
not while the zombie apocalypse thing is uh, going on. Uh, but yeah, uh, I want to get a system with uh, much be a much beefier CPU. Uh, what I've got is actually pretty decent. I've got 64 gigs of RAM, and it's a i7 with uh, at some particular speed and uh, four cores. So it does pretty good on most things. So you know, I'm not not hurting for uh, uh, CPU power, but. Uh, for games like this, more CPU power is often better, and the uh, worst case would allow me to render a video and still be able to play a game, you know. Uh, or maybe just render videos faster, you know, that would be good too. So this is kind of cool. The tunnel's working okay. The freight train going through there. Yeah, I'm kind of liking this, uh, this operation here. Uh, but I, I want to get something with uh, 8 or 12 cores probably 12 cores and uh, definitely want to keep the 64 gigs of RAM uh, but of course that means I have to buy the 64 gigs of RAM so you know when the uh, when the zombie apocalypse thing is done and uh, it comes down to you know I still have a job and uh, you know a day job and uh, the money is there I think I might replace the uh, computer uh, now, I think I just need to replace the motherboard and uh, memory and possibly the video card. Uh, so that should be less expensive than it could be. Because uh, I've got a good case, so I should be okay. But, you know, I'll talk to the computer guys in the shop and see what they want to upsell me to and all of that jazz. And see what, what comes up. But... Yeah, that should allow me to deal, assuming the uh, game uh, works properly across, you know, a dozen cores, and I have no reason to think it won't. Uh, it works really well across the four cores I have now. So, contrary to what you might read in the forums, it really does use multiple cores. So if it's not, you're probably dealing with a scheduler problem in your operating system. But okay, we're coming around the toe of the mountain there, coming up on Grand Rapids, so... I kind of like this view. It uh, It's really nice with the mountains popping up there. I actually like how this map came out. Yeah, sure, we've got a lot of rails running along the flats between the valleys and everything, but the map came out nice. Right, uh, so we're coming around here to uh, Grand Rapids, uh, where we likely won't have any passengers waiting, because I should be so lucky. Oh no, there's somebody there. There's passengers on the platform. So the train will take somebody on its return journey. Oh, that's quite a lot of someones. Uh, it's not a full load, I don't think, but... Uh, yeah, we'll take take a bunch of people along the along the way, so Yeah, just see how many load up. Twenty eight. Uh it's not so bad. Uh okay, well let's uh let's duck out of there. Uh good. Uh so I think that gives us uh, a good uh, stopping point uh for this uh this episode. Uh it might be a little bit shorter than uh than I have been doing. But I think, I think that's okay, because this is a logical stopping point. And then the next episode, I'll uh, run this up around to... Where's Tempe? Around Tempe, and I think I'll go through this... Uh, this um, gap. Maybe not, because there's a lot of stuff. Oh, maybe I could put a, a tasteful or cheeky tunnel in there or whatever. Yeah, is well. I need to come up on this side because I want to use this uh, this station. So, huh? Well, anyway, that's for the next part. Uh, now, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do after I get everything connected up here. I'm. I think I'm gonna try all the passenger stuff connected up. I think I'm gonna try uh, try connecting up more freight after this. Uh, see. See if I can get uh, uh, get more steel production and more, you know, get get uh, get everything all uh, ramped up and 
uh, get rid of the big truck lines if I have any left. Uh, yeah, uh, so I'll uh, I'll have to take a look, uh, see, you know, maybe maybe I'll start doing a. Uh, oh well, I've got some stuff up on on the Wichita Island that I can do. Yeah, yeah, because I could bring the oil up to here, and then I can bring that back to to the mainland for here. Yeah, uh, there's stuff I can do. Okay. It looks like I have a relatively poor mix of industry, though, so there might not be much I can do. Well, either way, I'll uh, consider it after I've connected up the passenger stuff. We're up to 1909 now. Uh, you know, I I want to I want to play a game past 1910. <laughs> you know, but anyway, uh, that's uh, going to be all this time. Uh, next episode uh, be along in a few days, as usual. Uh, same same bad time same bad channel you know you know the drill and uh you know stay healthy uh in the in the, the you know the height of this uh, zombie apocalypse thing uh, i can't say what it is because that's getting demonetized not that i'm monetized but you know let's not get uh, not, let's not spook the algorithm any and uh yeah so uh, next time around, I'll be extending this uh, this line up to Tempe and possibly all the way to Wichita. I'm not sure. We'll see how complicated it is getting to Tempe. Anyway, uh, that's all for this time. See you next time.